So now we have a understanding of how PowerShell works and how to work with the basic of PowerShells after the crash course. And the next thing which we need to do is to start building our test hardness system in our execute automation reporting system and execute automation test hardness system. So for the execute automation test hardness system, the first thing which we need to do is I'm going to start working with building the PowerShell scripts. Instead of the blue screen that you saw, the command for the PowerShell, we are going to make use of what is called as PowerShell ISE. You can see there is something called PowerShell ISE. It's a desktop application and again it is something otherwise called as integrated scripting environment. So you can make use of this guy. So I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna hit run as administrator. The reason is because there are some of the commands which PowerShell won't execute without the elevated permission. So you need to give or open any of the PowerShell instances with uh, administrator mode. So make sure that you open that as a administrator mode so that you don't have the permission problems, right? And you can see that this ISE has got the same blue screen that we saw in the command prompt, but it is available within our ISE. And that is the great news because you can do both of them parallelly side by side. And there are some other options uh, like if you uh, click these options here, it will actually change the view whichever you want right so I just prefer to go with this option and the first thing which we need to do to start working with our test harness system is to start building it from the scratch so for that what I'm going to do I'm just going to go over to my Udemy reporting folder and within this folder we have to create a folder and let's call this as test harness and then within this test harness folder, I'm going to create two more folders. Maybe one is called as n unit. And let's create one more folder and let's call this as pickles. All right. So now we have to add the package of the n unit as well as for the pickles folder. So what should we do for the n units and pickles? Where should we search for these two packages? Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is let's go to our EA test project or our exit automation test project. And then within this particular project, we have something called as if you just right click the project and if you go to the open folder in Explorer, there is something called as packages within this particular project. And if you go to this particular packages folder, you can see we have something called as n unit and we also have pickers. I just installed this before our video just to try out how things works. But if you want to install pickers and that to the latest version 2.8, all you have to do is just go to the EA employee test project, go to the references, right click and go to the manage new get package. And you can either browse for the pickles from here and search for the pickles. It will be available and you can install. But since I have already installed the pickles available right here, and you can see that it is 2.5 the version is installed but let's install the latest version 2.8 so I'm just gonna run the update so that it will install the latest version of pickers in my project there we go so the latest package has been installed and to execute the n unit test we also need to install the n unit console runner so let's type the n unit and console you can see we have something called as n unit runner or otherwise called as n unit console runner. So I'm going to install that as well. All right. And since the n unit is n unit runner is 3.4.1, it is always a good practice to update the current n unit installed in our framework to n unit latest version. So currently it is 3.2.1. So I'm going to update to 3.4 so that it can be executed without any problem. So let's update that as well. So all our updates are done for this particular project. Let's try to build this solution and see how things works. Everything is built and everything is cool. And now if we go to our folder structure, we have something called n unit console runner. And within this console runner, we have something called as tools. And these are the packages which we are looking for. So this is the n unit console runner.exe. And this is the one which we are looking for. So I'm just going to copy all of them and then I'm going to put directly into our test harness folder. So I'm just going to paste it right here. And then for the pickles, I'm actually going to copy these particular files, which is available in our package, the pickles 2.8 and in this tools, we have these particular files, which will execute the pickles report. 
so I'm just gonna copy all of them but it seems like we have missed one more package which is nothing but pickles console runner so let's go to the browse folder browse option and then let's search for pickles you can see there is something called pickles dot command line so this will actually have the tools required for running the pickles in our command line interface so I'm just going to install that as well within our project alright so we have everything right now let's go to the folder and here we have something called pickles command line and this is the tool which we are looking for because you have something called pickles.exe right so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste right here alright so now we have the nunit console runner and pickles console runners available within these two folders and then what we're gonna do we're gonna add two more folders here just for the time being I will explain you why we have created this the first one is nothing but our pickle report and then I'm gonna create one more folder here let's call this as pickles zip report or maybe zip to pickle report whatever it is all right cool so these are the folder structures which we will be using suddenly in our test harness uh, while we were working so I'm just creating it for now so that you'll understand why we have created this all right so now it's time for us to start writing the real script in our ISE so first and foremost thing which we're gonna do is to get the current directory right so let's see how to get the current directory so for getting a current directory in our PowerShell there is a very very easy option available something like this get item of path and then you can specify dot slash right and then verbose full name so if you get like this it will show you or get the current folder location or current path so I will show you how it looks like if I run this particular query you can see that it will show you c colon slash windows slash system 32 the current folder location and this is what I'm looking for so this will get the current working directory and then I'm gonna get the end unit directory so let me first save this particular file in a folder location which is nothing but our Udemy reporting test harness and let's add right here so I'm gonna call this as test harness dot ps1 I'm just gonna save it so that now if I run this particular query within that particular folder location you will see what it is so let's say if I go to the f colon slash udemy reporting oops and then if I try to run this particular command you can see that it is f colon slash udemy ea test, test project but we are looking for udemy reporting project so I'm just gonna add that let's do ls and you can see all our files will be listed and then we are gonna create within test harness so this is the folder or directory which we're gonna work right now 